Today I'm going to be reviewing two inks from Ferris Wheel Press, The Fluttering Heart and Cloak and Forest. The Fluttering Heart is a limited edition ink. The carton design is very romantic with images of jewelry, lace, and butterflies. It speaks to that feeling of joy when you reconnect with family members, friends, and loved ones after a long time apart. The script on the 38 milliliter bottle reads, more precious than diamonds are the vows of extraordinary love. Cloak and Forest is part of the 2023 Fairy Tales collection. The outer carton shows Little Red Riding Hood traveling to Grandmother's house. You can see hidden ink bottles, Woodland Friends, and the Big Bad Wolf hiding in the shadows. If you look closely, you'll also find a clue to the next story in the Fairy Tales collection. Inside, the 20 milliliter glass bottle is decorated with the Ferris Wheel Press logo and topped off with their signature brass cap. I was really happy with how both of these inks performed in my pointed pen calligraphy and in my sketchbook. The Fluttering Heart, yes it's a lighter colored ink, but unlike some lighter colored inks or more transparent inks, the Fluttering Heart is immediately legible from the moment I put pen to paper in those delicate upstrokes, I could see that taupey blush tone and of course the payoff is that champagne shimmer when it dries. Applications for this ink, I could see it being used in place cards, place settings, gift tags for wedding arrangements. If you are a bullet journal person designing title pages or even as a primary ink, I think that the Fluttering Heart would be a good consideration for those projects. Cloak and Forest, this is a very saturated ink. It's that dark, dark green. It's a sheening ink and a, the payoff in the end is that silvery shimmer once it dries. I enjoyed it both in pointed pen calligraphy and in my sketchbook drawings. Uh, you can dilute this ink a little bit and pull out those blue undertones. When you're painting with it, it goes on a very beautiful blue and then it dries to that that green. It's a complex color, so this is one that I think that I will explore a little bit more in my sketchbooks and just see how far I can push the pigments in this ink. It's really exciting. 
At the time of this recording, both inks were still available at ferriswillpress.ca uh, and .com. If you're interested in adding these inks to your collection, be sure to use code SAMANTHA at checkout and you can save 10% on all of your purchases there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you've used either of these inks before and what you thought. Have a great day. Never fails. Because I do my own stunts. <laughs>